Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I am currently in Kuala Lumpur Bird Park and I want to test the bird detection autofocus on this OM system or M1. Let's do this. Originally, Olympus was the first one to implement the smart subject autofocus detection. It was first implemented in the Olympus OMD EM1X. Originally, in the EM1X, there were three subject detection. The model cars, or I think it's model vehicles, which includes motorcycles or cars. Then there's planes or aircraft and train. Subsequently, via the firmware upgrade, they allow bird detection. I've never tried the bird detection autofocus in EM1X, but I heard that the bird detection autofocus on this OM1 has been improved significantly. For today's setup, of course, I have the OM system, OM1, which has the subject detection with the bird detection autofocus, which we will try in this session. And I'm pairing the camera with the MZUCO 42-150 f4 to 5.6. This is the budget telephoto zoom. And I thought, hey, why don't I carry a light lens? I just want to test how effective is the subject detection finding the birds in this park. And I think this lens will do more than a sufficient job to test that particular feature. And this is no slouch either. I've talked about this lens before. I'll put a link to the video up here. Please check it out. For a budget lens, I think it delivers fantastic results. Having set up the camera, I can hear the birds all around me calling and let's grab some shots. To find the bird detection autofocus, go to menu, inside menu, go to AF, there are many tabs here. Inside the AF, it is the number two on the AF and you scroll down until you find subject detection. Inside subject detection, you can select there's cat, there's plane, there's cars, motorcycles, there's train. Of course, we want the birds. So once you have enabled this, as you exit and go to the main viewfinder, you should be able to see the bird icon somewhere at the top of the screen. I want to customize one of the buttons to quickly enable and disable the bird detection or subject detection. So I need a shortcut button and I've decided to use this plus minus button, which is the exposure compensation button. So I have to reassign that for subject detection. To do that, press menu. Inside menu, you go to the gear settings, uh, which is this gear settings. Under operations, we have button settings. Inside button settings, we have button function. In button function, then we find the plus minus or the exposure compensation. Then we set it to subject detection. We can toggle it on and off now. I've enabled this, so if I press this plus and minus exposure uh, compensation button, which has me reassigned to subject detection, if I press this now, it will toggle the subject detection on and off. And if I want to choose between different modes, all I have to do is just hold this button, hold the shortcut button, and I can change. Now, if I use the dial at the back, I can change from motorsports, airplanes, trains, and bird. So I've decided to use the bird, so I'll leave it there. So there you go. As long as you have that button, I don't know if you can focus you can see that button there, the icon there, yeah. 
Let's see if you can detect that bird at the back. There you go. It works. There's a bird there and it started to detect the bird. Though this is bad lit, it's not going to be a good shot. Initially, I intended to record the camera's LCD screen or the viewfinder through my external HDMI recorder so that you can see exactly how I'm composing my shots and how the subject detection, the AI bird autofocus works in real time, how I got my shots, right? But unfortunately, that HDMI recorder decided not to work or I guess it's my fault, I didn't check before I got from the house. The recorder didn't work with this OM system or M1. I just assumed it would work because it worked with my EM1 Mark III, it worked with my EM5 Mark III. Why doesn't it work with this OM1? Well, I've paid for tickets, it was 35 ringgit to come into this park, it's not cheap. And I've allocated today to do this content, so I didn't want to waste my time. I didn't want to go home empty-handed. So I decided to do things the hard way. I was holding my smartphone to record the screen of the camera while I was shooting single-handedly with this OM-1. Trust me, it is not easy handling two devices, pointing the smartphone on this OM-1, trying to center the screen while making sure the birds are in the frame on this OM-1. Having tested the bird detection autofocus on this OM-1 here in this bird park, I would say for the first time trying this feature, I'm really impressed. I didn't have to do anything. All I have to do is compose, make sure the bird is in the framing and exactly what I want in my frame. And I just press the shutter button. The camera with the bird detection autofocus on will find the bird automatically and do all the job. It just simplifies the workflow. If you go near enough to the bird, it can even find the eye on the bird and try to look at that particular eye and make sure that the eye is in focus. If it's far away, it'll just find the shape of the bird and make sure the bird is in focus. And even quite far away when the bird is quite small, like about 10 to 20% of the frame, the camera, the AI is still smart enough to find the bird. I think this is quite fail-proof and it's very reliable method to do bird photography. I'm very, very impressed. OM Digital Solutions. One problem that I had is when I have multiple birds within a frame, I don't think there is a way in the camera for me to quickly select which bird I want to be in focus. I may not want the bird at the front or the one that's nearest to the camera to be in focus. Maybe I want the bird that's at the back for whatever stylistic or artistic reasons. As a photographer, sometimes not everything I want to be in front to be in focus. Uh, I don't have a uh, a choice to do that with this bird detection autofocus. Or maybe I'm wrong, maybe there's a hidden setting that I'm not aware of. If you know how to choose between which birds in the frame, let me know in the comments below. But if there's no such option, I think this should be implemented in the next firmware upgrade for the OM-1. I acknowledge that it's very convenient to assign one of the custom buttons to activate the subject detection and you can quickly choose whichever subject, like bird, vehicle, or aircraft, or whatever. Uh, it's very convenient, but 
I don't understand why this option is not included in the Super Control Panel. I think the Super Control Panel is a one-stop, one-page layout where you can find all the important settings. Maybe allow one or two slots to be customized for us to fit whatever settings that we want to change quickly. If this setting is in the Super Control Panel, I wouldn't assign it to one of the shortcut buttons because I don't shoot birds that often. And having one button for the bird detection just for today and I have to set it up, I think that's quite inconvenient. If you have it in the Super Control Panel, I can assess it quickly. And there is more than enough space on that one page setup to fit the subject detection autofocus. I'm not a wildlife or bird photographer, so I'm just coming to this park, looking at the birds, it's easy. I don't go into the jungle, I don't feed my body to the mosquitoes, I don't sacrifice myself to the mountain tigers. Hey, I'm a city boy, I just want to be safe. So having tested this OM1's subject detection, bird autofocus, I thought it was quite easy to use as someone who is not a bird photographer. I think anyone can just pick up the camera and use it and get great results. I don't know, let me know if you have tried this OM1's bird detection and how it works for you and if there's anything that I need to know or any tips they can share for me, I would love to learn from you. Leave it in the comments below. That's all I have to share about my brief encounter with this subject detection bird autofocus on the OM system or M1. If you found my sharing beneficial or if you've enjoyed looking at my photographs, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal links in the description below on how you can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way. It will definitely help me continue making more content and publish them right here. Until the next one, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.